What is going on guys and welcome to the updated Fire Mage rotation guide for Shadowlands. In this video we're going to be breaking down the single target rotation as well as the AoE rotation. Now keep in mind this is going to be from a Night Fae perspective so hopefully you guys all chose Night Fae. Um, if you need more help with the uh, other covenants and their rotations, feel free to use resources at your disposal like the Alter Time Discord or WoW Head Guides. All right, kicking things off, let's talk about the single target rotation during your burst, during combustion. Now, there are going to be two scenarios at play here. The one on the left is going to be the scenario in which you do not crit your precast, and the one on the right is going to be the scenario in which you do crit your precast. The reason I'm distinguishing the two is that it's going to change your rotation slightly, and you're going to see why here. Um, so on the left, we are not going to be able to crit our, pre our pyroblast here, which means that we are going to go into combustion with no heating up, no hot streak. And you're, as you're going to see, I'm going to fire blast twice which is going to allow us to be able to have an instant cast pyroblast as we go into combustion and then after that all you're doing is using fire blasts and phoenix flames to generate um instant cast pyroblasts now we're going to play that back again and it's important that you that you practice this rotation because it, it can be a little bit difficult here um, but the reason we're doing this is that you want to get into combustion with as much front loaded damage as possible and double fire blasting is allowing you to not only go into combustion with a pyroblast ready, but it's also allowing you to obviously put your fire blasts on cooldown. And the added benefit is of course, you're actually double stacking your infernal cascade here. The other important thing to note here is that you have, assuming you're taking flame on, three charges of fire blast, which means that as soon as you double fire blast in this scenario, you have one charge left. It's important that you do not use that charge to generate an, another instant cast pyroblast because that means you will not have another one to refresh your infernal cascade stacks. So it's important here that once you get out of that sequence of double fireblast pyro, you're going to send out a phoenix flames instead. What that's going to do is of course put it on cooldown and it's also going to allow you to refresh the buff duration of your infernal cascade once that sequence is done. And then all you're doing from then on out is rotating between your fire blasts and your phoenix flames until combustion's over. And what this is doing is it's giving your entire combustion window of 12 seconds is is consisting of instant casts. And that's what you want. You want to send out as many pyroblasts in your combustion as possible. Now moving over to the right side here, as you can see, we do pre uh, we do crit the precasted pyroblast, which means we have a heating up proc available to us, which means that we only need to use one fireblast to turn that into a hot streak. That means we go into combustion with a pyroblast and we're actually saving ourselves one fire blast charge. The downside kind of of this scenario is where you don't get into combustion right away with two stacks of Infernal Cascade, which is not, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it might become a, a bigger gain to go into combustion with two stacks of Infernal Cascade at the beginning of your combustion later down the line when we start getting higher ranks of Infernal Cascade. But for the time being, these are the two scenarios you really want to focus on. And um, I do recommend, you know, spending a couple of minutes or hours or however long you feel comfortable with in front of a training dummy trying to practice these because they are to your benefit and you don't want to mess this up as as every rotation guide or fire mage guide i've made in the past has kind of said is that getting your rotation down to be almost second nature is very important especially as a fire mage um, because that's where all of your damage comes from so you really want to practice this and kind of master it and make sure that you're comfortable with it going into the raid now while we're on the subject of single target rotation let's talk about our outside of combustion rotation quote unquote if you will uh in my last rotation video a lot of people were saying yeah you showed combustion rotation but what happens what i what do i do outside of combustion it seems like perhaps maybe a lot of newer players ask this question frequently because they don't really understand the the idea behind hot streak heating up generation or how to convert your your crits into pyroblasts so i'm going to quickly go over that so as you can see here we don't have combustion it's a single target encounter we're just hitting the fire the training dummy with fireballs now the important things to understand here is that you want to utilize your fire blasts to generate hot streaks from your heating up proc so heating up proc occurs when your fireball crits the, the enemy what you're going to do is you're going to turn that crit into an instant cast pyroblast and sort of the second component of the outside of combustion rotation is you want to be i know this this term confused a lot of people in my last video i don't know if weaving is the proper term that, that makes people understand it but you want to be coupling your pyroblasts your instant cast pyroblast at the end of your fireball 
Another thing to note here is since we are playing Night Fae and we are using Shifting Power, the ideal time to be using Shifting Power here on single target at least is outside of your Combustion Rotation. So when your Combustion is down and your Fire Blast charges are down, your Phoenix Flames charges are down, everything is on cooldown, that's when you want to be using Shifting Power. Ideally, obviously hitting things with Shifting Power is a, is a DPS gain for you, but uh, um, it's also totally fine to just cast Shifting Power um, away from the target. If it, if you can't actually get into melee range to, or anywhere to hit the target with shifting power, you can still use it. Don't worry about that. Just make sure that whenever you use shifting power, it usually isn't the case that you have fire blast charges generally. Um, but remember to not overcap on fire blast charges during shifting power. It's much better to double fire blast during shifting power and generate a, you know, a, a hot streak proc than it is to let shifting power go off and stay capped on fire blast charges. That's generally something you always want to avoid is you never want to be capped on charges. All right, now it's time for the fun portion of the guide, the AoE rotation. So uh, if you guys are not currently Night Fae, I promise you this can this video might convert some of you to play Night Fae just watching this rotation. Forget the days of old of BFA where AoE rotation was literally just your single target rotation. This really feels good and it's awesome. It does tons of damage. So um, yeah, let's just get into it. So as you're going to see here, we're going to open up with a standard fireball precast. And at the end of this cast, we're going to pop combustion. We're going to send out a Phoenix Flames at the same time. What that's going to do is it's going to give us an instant cast pyro, which we're going to use on a flame strike. Now, flame striking on AoE um, is what we're going to be doing. And when you couple that with flame patch, provided the mobs can actually stand within, you know, a large portion of the flame patch's duration, which lasts eight seconds, it's going to be a ton of damage. So we're going to flame strike here, and then we're going to go right into double fire blasting. Double fire blasting is obviously going to give us an instant proc, and it's also going to stack Infernal Cascade twice which is gonna allow us to benefit from that increased fire damage for the rest of the combustion duration. We're gonna then flame strike again. We're gonna use our last remaining fire blast and then we're gonna cast shifting power. Now shifting power is obviously gonna generate fire blast charges while it's going off. You wanna make sure here that you use another fire blast to, have to come out of shifting power with an instant cast. So we're going to come out of shifting power, we're going to use that flame strike, and then any time remaining that you have on your, your combustion, you're going to utilize with your phoenix flames and then your, your instant cast fire blasts. And then of course using those instant casts on flame strikes. Now when you're out of instant casts, whether it be fire blast or phoenix flames, if you do have time remaining, you can opt to use Dragon's Breath, you can also Scorch, and if you can combine a Scorch with an extra fire blast and then use a flame strike, all the better. Obviously, this is going to get much faster and much smoother with higher levels of haste. So as we progress further into the expansion, we're going to be able to cast more things inside of combustion, making it even that much better. Now, for the AoE rotation outside of combustion, um, unfortunately, hard casting flame strike is the way to go. I know it's boring. I know everyone seems to complain about it, and justifiably so. It does really suck, especially with lower levels of haste. By the time you're done casting a flame strike, the mobs are probably a, a million miles away. Um, but you know, it is a DPS gain on two, two or more targets, provided you are using flame patch. Um, if the mobs aren't actually standing in the flame patch for the full duration, if they're, you know, if, if it's a sanguine week and you're cutting mobs, it's probably not. The best option, but generally speaking, hard casting flame strikes with flame patch is the um, is the AOE rotation you should be using. And of course, you can utilize things like rune of power and your fire blasts while you're casting to give yourself some more damage. You know, through instant cast flame strikes as well. So now that BFA is over and Shadowlands is here, I'm curious, what do you guys think of the expansion? I personally been having a blast. I think fire mages are feeling pretty fucking awesome right now. I've thoroughly enjoyed playing um, with Night Fae, and I, I've actually started leveling another mage just to, so I can, you know, uh, test the different covenants and stuff on live. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, you're more than welcome to stop by the stream whenever I'm streaming. Um, my raids are on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8 p.m. Eastern. So if you guys have any more questions about rotation or anything related to fire mages, feel free to stop by. I'd be happy to help. I hope the video helped you guys and maybe uh, clarified some some common questions for the rotation and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.